All right. Back to the front porch. You know, the front porch is classic. You know, I don't have my coffee because it's like two o'clock. Also on another note, I wanted to thank y'all for helping me achieve my thousand subscribers milestone. I really appreciate everyone's support, everyone doing comments, everyone liking the videos. Man, thank you guys very much. I really, really, really appreciate you. Yo guys, real quick while I have your attention, please subscribe to my works channel as well, where we drop weekly one wheel content. If you can't get enough one wheel content, then go ahead and please subscribe to that channel as well. We're dropping product videos, install videos, vlogs. We're just trying to entertain you guys. So please go ahead and take a moment to subscribe to that as well. Back with the video. Welcome back to the DIY tail rail series. This is video number two of the installment. So in show one, we went to Spider Mountain, about one hour outside of Austin, Texas and we really put the rails to the test. The only thing that was done to the rails was it was a GTR. I had a pint hub with a Trail Pro tire on it. Because of the radical 13 degree kickback in the back, the rails felt a little tall. When you put my DIY tail rails next to a stock board, the front pad is the exact same height. However, the back pad is kicked up so much that your mind feels like it's super tall. I mean, and your back foot is actually way taller than what it would be if you were on the stock. So what we ended up doing for this video was installing the half and half by the float life. That brought the rails down half an inch. What we're gonna do, is we're gonna put this half inch lowering kit, shout out to Jake Leary and the whole TFL crew for uh, putting this together. Really cool packaging too. I look like I just got like a little milk carton. I feel like I'm back in school getting my milk. With this current build, I took off the pint hub and I put on the GT hub with the Enduro tire. And so in this video, we went to Arkansas and we tested out the new and improved DIY tail rails that now have the TFL half and halves that actually lower the tail rails down half an inch. And we're also now testing the stock GT hub with the Enduro tire versus the pint hub with the Trail Pro tire. So let's go to Arkansas and let's check this out. So I have two boards to go to Arkansas with. We have the Lightning rails and we have the DIY tail rails that we're fully gonna test with the half inch lowering kit tomorrow. It's gonna be a blast because I really feel like this is gonna be the board that's gonna be dialed in. This is gonna be like, I feel like my favorite board. We'll see. Last time I worked uh, with the Lightning rails at Spider Mountain, it was an upset with these because leaving Spider Mountain, I preferred the Lightnings. That was to the tall tail rails. Let's get the lower tail rails a vibe. Let's get it.
You alright, Bubba? On your left. On your left. We got someone joining us. Uh, stick it out. Even go as much as you can. Just get that little bit extra. Right <laughs> Do what? <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Take it as fast as you can. Okay. Yeah. Let's get it.
tail rails on this concrete path thing. Come on, Joey. Let's hit some leopard loop. Arkansas, baby. Slow as hell. Let's see what I got on the first code one. I've got 58 seconds here before. What, what did I just get? I just got a 102. All right, I just got a 102. My record here is 58. Whatever. I'm over it. Yo, we just saw a random one wheeler in the wild. Let's go interview him. Random one wheeler. He's riding a GT. What's up, dude? Jeff and Dare, I know hey. who you are. Hey, Jeff what's Becker, up? Man. I, I just met you at uh... Flow Life Fest. That's correct. Heck yeah, man. How you guys doing? Doing good, man. Shredding it up. Over here. Yes, sir. I was over here with Tulsa One. We were all over here nice. riding a little bit. So, oh yeah. Say hi, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, I saw you. I was like, man, let's go ahead and get him a, a quick little cameo shout out for the vlog. Hey, What's your name, dude? Jeff. Jeff. Oh, yeah. dude, we're the Jeffs. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Jeff. Yeah. Thank you, Jeff. We'll see you later, buddy. Bro, this is where Kyle went up this right here and went like probably 60 yards down. He went all the way around the corner? Yeah, bro, like went 60 yards down it and I was filming it. I got the video still. It was nuts, bro. Dang. Where y'all want to film? Y'all want to just go this way? Uh, yeah, I think we're getting close to like Boulder now, right? What y'all want to do? No? This is still all American. This is all American. This is uh.
All right, guys, that's the video. And be sure to subscribe because video three is coming right around the corner of this series. I think video three is going to be where we finally dial this board in. What we do in that one is we put the pint hub back on with the Trail Pro tire with the half and halves because I'm thinking that's going to be a little better having the, the six inch versus the 6.5. You know, it's all about that suspension baby. And we also install Badger Sure Start. Let's take it off some rips. This is a device that goes inside your controller to help eliminate the problem of the board shutting off. Because say your board comes off the foot pad for a second, what well, automatically programs to ghost for a second versus shutting off because it's not got a foot detected. So boom, let's check that out. I'm gonna leave a link in the description so you can check that out prior to the video. Dude, shout out to Badger, straight up. <clears throat> you guys probably need to go on over to onewheelparts.com and get you some hex grip. We got some two millimeter right here. That's actually premium trail size. Ooh, what do you got here? Just some like two millimeter regular foam. Nice. Nice, looks like we just filled a tire up with some tire candy. You really need to put this in your tire if you wanna stay flat free. Thank you guys for watching, let's get it.